Hey guys, Millsy here, and uh, I thought I'd just uh, start off my setup video um, because I've been getting a lot of comments and a lot of people messaging us wondering what kind of equipment we use to record, what we use, what software, stuff like that, and uh, our general setups. Um, so I figured I'd do a setup video. I did one in the past a long time ago back when I used to play on console and stuff like that, but a lot has changed since then. So um, we're just going to go through and start doing that. And uh, if you guys got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. If I miss anything out, please let me know so I can write it in the description. Hey guys, Millsy here, and we're back in my bedroom. And we're going to start off by showing you around my room just really quick. So there's my bed, a bunch of other stuff, just a quick show, show you like all the stuff. And then I'm going to go into more detail about it. So there's my bed as I've said like 70 times. Um, there's my lamp you'll usually see me have on. Unusually, today I have my window open, which never usually happens. I've only got it open just because I get better camera quality. Usually I'm in my dark little cave playing StarCraft all day. So I'm going to come over here. There's my Astro game bag. So it's like Astro Scout, I think it's called. Cool. And that's what I used to use when I did a lot of Xbox stuff, take it to land events and things like that. Um, but now I just use it as a laptop bag, pretty much. Really good bag, actually. So, uh, pretty affordable. It's it's good because it's, it's different from a normal backpack because it fits your Xbox and everything in. Um, but for the price, you're better off just buying a laptop bag. But seeing as I just have it lying around, it's okay to use now. So, coming to my little bookshelf here, there's Kanye Mills, as I like to call them. Um, I pretty much just put my headphones or my gunners on there to keep them keep them safe when little kids are around or something like that. My movie collection, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use Starcraft, so it's not really a movie in Battlefield 3, but we're just gonna go through all the movies. Now the reason why I have so many DVDs is because I like supporting the 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 actors and the directors and stuff like that. So I buy the copy of the movie that I really like. Um, because I really, um, I'm a real movie buff, and I love to support them. So, uh, s snowboarding goggles. I know they've got, like, camo on them, but they're snowboarding goggles. Uh, my, uh, shoes. I'm getting run on. Somebody's ringing me on Skype, doesn't matter. Um, Grindhouse, uh, Planet Terror, uh, Death Proof. The reason why I have that poster is just because I love Death Proof. Not really a Planet Terra fan, but Death Proof is a Quentin Tarantino movie. So immediately it's one of my most favourite movies. Then I mean, you've got Uma Thurman. Gotta love that Uma. Rocking a little Asian style right there. Pulp Fiction. Um, another Pulp Fiction poster down there. Um, coming over here, I'll just talk about my laptop real quick. So, <clears throat> if it turns on, as you can tell, it's quite loud. I've got to log in. Sorry, using the wrong hand to do it. And yes, I have the Lannister wallpaper. If you've got a problem with that, well, too bad, because I support the Lannisters and they're baller. Love that little dwarf guy. He's such a boss. So I've got all my stats on my um, PC down here so I can actually know what, what's in it, because I keep forgetting. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, just an HP laptop. It's not very old, but it's just not very good. Um, yeah, I got I got this because um, my old laptop got um, broken, and the insurance company gave me this. And that that laptop was a lot really old, and it was like a one core or some shit. So no, it was like a two core, I think. So yeah, so that's my laptop. Um, and what you've all been waiting to see is my uh, PC setup. So I'll just do a quick scan, show you all the good stuff in it off the bat right now. So there it is. As you can see, I have three monitors. Now why do I have three monitors? Well, it helps when you're doing live streams, rendering, doing because I, I multitask a lot when I'm doing when I'm on my computer. I'll be rendering a video on Sony Vegas up here, which is the YouTube editing go to editing software program. Um, watching a live stream and while I'm doing all that, so right now I'm watching Lag TV, uh, Maximus Black, playing uh, some StarCraft overlooks. And if you don't know who he is, he does those When She's Fails videos, so you should totally go check him out, because uh, his stuff's awesome. Um, I'm a great supporter of his stuff. He's, as you can see, he's he's a member of Check 6. 
Um, so the other monitor here, my little baby monitor, has got my Twitch TV. So Twitch TV is the also go-to live streaming software. It's what he'd be using. It's what most people use, is Twitch TV. Um, you can see the uh, the design. We've got our own personal layer overlay there, and that's designed by us by uh, Creative Gesture. Uh, great design, bunch of people. Go and contact them. Uh, just let them know that we sent you, and they might uh, hook you up with a special deal and, and get you some graphic design for free. Maybe, maybe not for free, but you can always give it a go. They're great. I highly recommend them. Um, got my music list down here, my StarCraft playlist, and I use that off of, um, I can't think of the, the, the site, but it's, it's great. Um, build order, over there, you probably can't make it out because I don't have autofocus, but that's a three-gate robo build. I'm experimenting with Protoss right now. Um, and there's obviously, um, my, uh, StarCraft playing screen, my general, you know, my YouTubing screen, all that stuff. Um... So when I when I open it up, throw up uh, StarCraft, it just loads up. All my other screens stay the same. This is in window mode, and I can just play StarCraft while watching my live stream, while rendering a video, and while watching somebody else's live stream. So it allows me to do a lot of stuff a lot of the time. Great possibilities. Now I've had a lot of questions about my audio and like what microphone we use. Now. We use the Blue Snowball, which most YouTubers use because it's the nearest thing you can get to an aff it's like the most affordable microphone for the quality. It's just great value for money. It's a really good microphone. I highly recommend it. Um, most YouTubers use it for music, uh, podcasts. It's got a cool podcast setting. Which, uh, you hit like three on the back of it and it like does full 360 like audio recording. So you can do great podcasts sitting around a table. Um, also, it's just a genuinely really good microphone, um, so I really strongly suggest you get that if you're looking for one, you can get them off eBay, um, Amazon, all, um, all my screens are Samsung screens by the way, I like, I like Samsung, I think they're the, like the BMW of, uh, of screens. Um, there's my uh, mouse pad, it's a Goliath Razer mouse pad, um, Speed Edition I think, and there's the... Uh, the uh, Black Mamba. No, not Black Mamba. I wish it was a Black Mamba. Turn into a Black Mamba immediately! No, it's a um, Death Adder mouse. A uh, Razor mouse. But it's still a really good mouse. Really great value for money. Um, if you're looking for a good gaming mouse, that's where you want to go. Um, like, like 50, 60 bucks. And they used to be like 130 when they first came out. So they're a little bit old, but, you know, if they don't, they don't age. It's a mouse. And if you buy it new, it's going to be... A great mouse for you to use. Um, this keyboard here is just some crappy Steel Series one Callum had lying around, and he wanted me to smash it against a concrete pillar or something. And I was like, "Hey, can I keep it?" It's because I didn't have a keyboard at the time, and I was I was playing StarCraft on my crappy laptop, which I only played in low. And um, so I have just recently, as you can tell, I painted the keys on the on the front um, with some spray paint and stuff like that, just to help me with my macro. It's good because when I change races and stuff, I can just pull off the keys and switch them out, um, switch them around so I, I can use, like, you know, for Protoss or for Zerg, for Terran. Um, this is originally, like, an FPS keyboard, so I wouldn't recommend it to buy as a StarCraft playing keyboard, but if you wanted something which is, um, you know, it's not a loud keyboard, it's not a mechanical one or anything like that, so um, I'll probably be getting a new one of those. Um, Astro 40 Amp go along with my Astro A40s. Now these are the best headphones I think you can get if you want to do it all. Now what I mean by that is um, if you want to do, do videos on, not just videos, but if you want to play, if you want to play StarCraft and have a great headset, there you go. If you want to play Xbox, have a great headset, there you go. If you want to have um, a great headset and play PlayStation 3, there you go. It does it all thanks to that little mix amp. Um, great headphones, they're, they're quite expensive, like 400 bucks. You can get custom tags on the side. Um, these aren't, that, that's a custom tag we had, and that's the old Soul Survivor logo. Um, we got them made, it's kind of a cool feature you can do. You can pull them off, you can replace them and stuff like that. Um, 
Really good headphones, highly recommend buying a pair if you want to do it all. Otherwise, I tend to go for more of a cheaper alternative, like some Steel Series or some Sennheisers or something like that. Um, Sennheisers aren't that expensive, but they're a little more expensive, because I think they're about $400, the A40s. Um, but that you're paying for great quality. If you've got that type of money to burn to buy headphones, I suggest you get them. Um, so moving on to my actual PC and stop rambling about things. Um, there it is there. It's a Raven case, if you're wondering what the case is. Um, there's all the, all the USBs and stuff on the inside. Um, it's USB times 3, USB 3.0 and 2.0 and stuff like that all are in there. Um, just a whole bunch of different versions. Um, I'm just trying to remember what's in there. I think it's two GTX 580 graphic cards with SLI. Um, a 1500 watt um, power supply. I hope that's right. Um, liquid cooling. I can't remember what the cooling system is. Um, uh, Bigfoot Killer um, Network card, which is a great card because first of all they sponsor EG, so you've got to support them. You know, if I could get some Kingston HyperX RAM and throw it in there, I would too, because I love EG. They're my favorite team. Um, so they support EG. Plus the card's actually awesome. It um, helps you. Uh, you can, when you're like uploading to YouTube or you're playing a game and you get a little bit of lag or something like that or your uploads going really slow, you can turn off all the other apps on your computer, which you are using your internet, and then just force your internet to completely like focus down um, that one particular uh, upload or game, um, which is awesome. You know, you can set web browsers to medium, and you can set like games to high, so you don't get any lag. It's awesome. Also, uh, there's about six fans in there. What else? Motherboard is a Sniper G1 uh, Elite motherboard, I think. Good motherboard. It's really cool because you can get these like, weapon parts on it and you get that little green neon light. You get like um, simulated like magazines with bullets in it and I don't know if you can see it, like rifle stocks and stuff on the side of the motherboard just for looks. It doesn't really do anything. You know, you can't, like, pull it apart and make a gun out of it or anything, but it's, like, it's just for looks, and it's just a cool little added feature. It's not a gimmick or anything to pawn off a crap motherboard, because it's actually a really good motherboard. Um, the motherboard I was going to buy, they didn't have in stock, so they ended up actually just giving me that one for a cheaper price. So I was just like, thank you! Thank you very much! Um... What else is in there? I'm trying to think. Oh, obviously, 16 gigs of RAM, 2 terabyte hard drive, uh, Blu-ray DVD player and burner on the front. Too bad it's an LG, but that's alright. I don't love LG stuff, but I don't really hate it, hate it. Like, that's a good Blu-ray player, but I just don't like other LG appliances. Like, the Blu-ray player hasn't caused me any issues, so I can't really say anything bad about it. I just don't like LG as a company. Um... You got the overclocking button here, so you just click it on. You want to overclock, and it goes red. You click it off when you don't want to overclock. Um, it's just if you get a little bit of lag during game, you just click that button, then unclick it. I'm sure you guys know enough about computers anyway. So, if you're wondering what that set me back, it's about five grand when I bought it. I don't know how much it's worth now. Like obviously now it's second hand, it's not worth as much. But like nowadays to build that type of PC, how much would be worth? I'd say it'd be almost about the same. Um, Maybe a little bit cheaper now that those new graphics cards have come out, the uh, 680s. But uh, still, still really good value for money. I think, um, I think it's just a great computer. It lets me run everything on Ultra um, and stuff like that. So, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm kind of running out of time now, so I'm just trying to think what else to talk about before I end this. I haven't been in my wardrobe yet. So, ta-da! Typical guy, I have like five items of clothing, and there's my computer case, and as you can see it's a Raven 2, if I didn't mention that before. Um, it was a custom built PC, I didn't get it, um, it got custom built, it wasn't like um, bought off a shelf, or from a um, PC manufacturer. manufacturer. Um, but yeah, that's it guys, so uh, 
Thanks for coming and checking out. I've apparently gone offline, but my live stream's still going, so that's interesting. But uh, thanks for coming uh, and watching my video. Make sure you share this video. Just tell me what you think of the setup. Tell me if there's anything I missed. If uh, you guys got any questions or if you want any tutorials on particular software that I use, like XSplit or Sony Vegas, um, please let me know because I'll be more than happy to help you out with those. Um, make sure you follow us on Facebook. Make sure you like our, our check us out on um, Twitter. Subscribe to our page. Like this video. Um, and do all that good stuff that I tell you to do every, get, every, every game we cast over or any video we do. Um, but thanks for coming out and checking my setup out, my setup out guys, and uh, guess me out. Thanks.